So for today, we're going to be looking at Chromatic Fire. This got asked for a while ago. I do apologize that these exotic videos took forever to make, but we are back on it and I am pretty much catching up on these. So Chromatic Fire is going to be first. Then we have Foe Tracer and then uh, we have a few other ones after that. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Also, uh, if you guys want to ask for a specific exotic or anything like that, let me know in the comments below. I'll uh, hopefully get started because again, I'm going to be killing all of these exotic videos out before Lightfall because Lightfall is going to be a very busy time for me because if you guys don't know, I will be running the raid day one and I will also just be playing a fuck ton of the expansion just because I want to get all the armor as fast as I can so I can make videos and just I'm just going to be super busy. So I want to do all of these before the new expansion comes out. So that way you guys can have the videos, especially if you ask for it. And again, if you guys ask for some of these, I do apologize that it took a while, but hopefully you guys enjoyed a lot of the content that I was posting specifically like the new armor stuff for this season and whatnot. So uh, a little long outro or intro, but I do appreciate you guys. I just wanted to say that. And other than that, let's get into it. So Chromatic Fire is an interesting choice for someone to ask for considering I personally don't like it. It's pretty cool uh, for the perk. It's Crystalline tr Transistor. Uh, precision final blows with your kinetic weapon create an explosion in the element of your subclass. So it's pretty cool. It's like interesting. It's just for me personally, I don't I don't see like me ever using this outside of just like like casually using it. Uh, but yeah, it's I don't really have to explain much. You basically just get Firefly on demand, uh, depending on what subclass you have. I do wonder if this actually works with uh, with stasis as well. Like you, do you get a Firefly sub uh, stasis explosion? That'd be pretty interesting to see. But I mean, obviously, you guys are seeing some of the gameplay right now because I'm going to try to get some gameplay for you guys. But overall, uh, aesthetically, let's talk about aesthetically, because honestly, the perk itself is just really straight to the point nothing too crazy to talk about for the actual look of the exotic it's man dude it's so unique and it's to be expected considering this came out in forsaken a time where exotics looked super super different like oh my god so go back and see some of the forsaken exotics that we got and you guys are gonna just immediately tell like a lot of them are just like soaking with originality and chromatic fire is no different like it looks really cool it looks very like original my only like critique about it is i think it's too much i think it's overly designed i guess you would say um i do like the color uh stace or not stasis but the color the uh what's it called the crystals on the like on the front where it goes all the way to your back as well i think those are super cool it's just that the the backpack, not backpack because it's not in your back, but like the pack on your hip is a little much. I think the wires on the other side is pretty cool. I actually love the design for the base look of it. Unfortunately, I don't think we can get that as a shader. Although if Bungie could give us that as a shader, that'd be super dope. But yeah, as for how it shaders, I think it shaders pretty well. You just got you just have to be aware that uh, some pieces are not going to be able to change color, specifically like the crystals on the like shirt thing that's not going to change color the white wires uh on the hips not going to change color and the backpack as or not the backpack but the pack on the side is also not going to change color specifically like the the blue dots in the front everything else does change color like the actual pack itself does change color but like the front of that pack does not change color so a little annoyances here and there i think uh personally echo anger looks super dope with it uh not I'm not surprised at all. Uh, Echo Anger is like legitimately one of the best shaders out there. Abyssinian Gold also looks super dope with it. Uh, just be aware that there is armor in the back. So if you guys don't like the brown of Abyssinian Gold, then it will show up in the back. Other than that, I think it looks super, super dope. As for the example set, I ended up going in a really weird direction. So instead of just using one whole shader, I just decided to retain the really cool uh, design of the chest piece and just work around that. So a lot of the pieces that I'm using are just using black and the chest piece is using the basic uh, without no shader look because I think it looks cool for the helmet. We're using the hardened basilisk headpiece specifically because uh, it looks weird. And this chest piece is legitimately just the weirdest shit in the game for me, at least as an armor piece goes. And I just thought it would be really cool to put it together for the arms. Grasp of ear is an easy choice because I wanted some cloth in there. 
Uh, boots of the Comorant Blade is also an easy choice considering you won't ever see your boots, but when you do, it's going to be bulky and the interlaced bond. Uh, so let me explain a few things here. The All of the shaders that you'll see is either giving me a black or black. There's really no other. Well, I guess Imperial Dress is giving me purple, but you have to actually look at the bond itself like really, really close to actually see the, the purple like, hue of the glass. But the Boots of the Comorant Blade, Amethyst Veil turns it all black. For Grasp of Ear Youth, the Mad Monk turns it all black. And same thing for Metro Shit for Hardened Basilisk Headpiece. It turns it all black and actually turns off the glow that's actually usually there. So nothing really crazy for this one. I just kind of wanted to lean into some of the black in the default shader for this exotic because I think it looks super cool. I wanted to stay away from purples because I don't think we have any good purples that go with this. I mean, to be fair, I didn't go through all of the purples, so there could be some like certain purples that go with this. Like I know, for example, the Burguzian night shader, specifically the off colors actually do have these purples and these blues a lot of that it's just that do i really want to go through all of the armor pieces to find the armor piece that has the off color which is the blue i personally did not because it's not going to be an exotic i'm going to be using and even then it's also one of those things where one armor piece is going to retain that color but then i'm going to have to find another color and honestly i would much rather just stick with black because the chest piece has so much of that design that i didn't want to go over overboard with it with different colors as well so i wanted to have some black in it because honestly the only black you're going to be able to see from this is the helmet and the arms the boots you're rarely ever going to see and i don't think coloring your boots that in that the color scheme is going to be good because i think the chest piece retains so much that having black on the other pieces kind of like mellows everything out so uh the other thing is i'm using the interlaced bond specifically because i want some like a heavier piece on the right side because the pack is on the left side and the pack kind of like makes it heavy on the left side. So that's just to even it out. But you could use literally anything if you want. If it, if the pack doesn't bug you, then you can just use whatever you want, honestly. But for me, it was more so like I don't want uh, one side to look heavier than the other, which is why I kind of evened it out. So this one is not too crazy. Like it, this looks super dope. I actually would wear this if I use this, is it, ugh, this exotic. But if I'm being quite honest, I would actually prefer the ornament, which is prob hopefully what you're hoping for to see, because that's actually the one that I like a lot more, which speaking of which, let's just look at the ornament. So for the ornament, we're going to be looking at the conflicts control. This one is super, super cool. I love the the like light crown on the chest piece. I think that's super cool. I like the fact that the chest also has like uh, lights on it because it is Vex themed. It makes sense. And overall, I think this is such a good ornament. It really makes chromatic fire. It makes me want to actually wear it because it looks so cool. And thankfully, we do have uh, Vex pieces that go really well with this. Uh, as for how it shaders, I think it shaders really well. Unfortunately, uh, the lights on the on the chest piece, specifically like the, the square lights, that doesn't change color. It does not change with glows either. So you are stuck with that but i actually don't really mind it because if you're gonna wear this chest piece then i i wholeheartedly think you need to go into it with like a vex themed look because if you ignore it then at that point it's just gonna look kind of weird don't get me wrong uh people are really talented and can do some really cool things it's just for me this is so vex themed that if you do something else you're gonna have to really hit it out of the park because if you don't it's just gonna look kind of boring or weird or just too much so you either go Vex themed or you go in like this is a one in a thousand look that like is amazing. So that's just me personally. Uh, I also just think that Vex themed uh, set for this is just going to look amazing, which uh, last but not least, let's look at Bissonian Gold first, just because uh, I do want to get into the uh, the example set because I really, really like it. Uh, I actually think Abyssinian Gold is really good for this because even though I don't like the brown color of this of the armor pieces, usually I think it looks really good with this set just because uh, the black is going to look good all overall. But I do think the brown is like a little desaturated. So it's more like like an off color of it. Like it's very desaturated, which is why I'm looking at it. I'm like, this looks way cooler than usual. So I definitely would use this as a shader. But for the example set, I ended up going with with Mercury Vex Chrome 
Uh, we'll explain why in a bit, but for the helmet facade of the he Hezen Lords was an easy choice considering I wanted to use the phenotype plasticity bond. For the boots, we're using Empyrean Cartographer boots because uh, I wanted something like not Vex themed, but also like it looks like kind of it could be Vex themed. Same thing with the gloves. I went with the Arc Light gloves because uh, they actually genuinely do look cool with this whole set. So for Mercury Vex Chrome, I decided to go with Mercury Vex Chrome because I already have a Vex themed armor set that has the shader that I was actually going to go with which is the Precursor Vex Chrome. That's like one of my favorite shaders in the game. And I didn't want to reuse that same shader that I have for another Vex set because again, I just didn't want to do that. So I ended up just deciding Mercury Vex, Vex Chrome is a good color. It's a shader that they actually do use. If you don't want to use that, you can use the Descending Vex Chrome or you can use the Descendant Vex Chrome. That one is going to give it a more risk, rustic or actually literal rust uh, look on it. Which is super cool, but I just wanted like a like a clean look. But you can do Descendant Vent Vex Chrome shader just because again it's gonna give it that that rustic look of like it's it's aged a while. So this one is definitely my favorite. Uh, I love it a lot. It's to the point where I'm probably gonna play some games of like I don't know Strike something. I don't know. Get some footage for you guys so that way you guys can see it in action. But I also want to use it because it looks so 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 cool. So. Let me know what you guys think. I don't know if I'm going to do the arc like uh, arms video for this set. It does look cool and I might actually just take it from this video and put it on that video or I can just do another set. I might do it just because personally, um, I, 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 fe I feel like people expect me to use that with like an like as an electricity set, which granted it makes sense. It's from uh, arc, but I think with this set, it looks a little bit better. So I might actually uh, scoop this one and put it on the arc video. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. I do apologize that these videos are took a long time to make. But again, I, I had a lot of content to go through. And thankfully, all that content is either made or haven't, I haven't made it yet. But I am not pr in the process of making it. But uh, Hunters, next one is going to be the Foot Tracer. And then after that, we're going to be looking at Ashen Wake, which is what I'm currently working on. And yeah uh thank you guys i appreciate y'all if you guys are interested in an exotic an armor piece an ar armor set let me know in the comments below i'll put it in the list and hopefully get started on it but other than that be safe and i'll see you guys later